Hello, I'm so pleased that you could meet with me today. It certainly is nice to put a face to the name after all of our email correspondence. And I'm so glad that you're interested in joining our wonderful gallery. Of course, I know that you have not made any commitment yet, and I very much respect that. I myself am a big fan of not making any kind of financial commitment until you're fully informed. And of course, if you were to be considering taking on a membership at our gallery, it's very important to us that we feel like we have told you everything we possibly can before you make your decision. Uh, please help yourself to some of our lovely fruit selection. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to meet with you in this particular room is because this is actually our members lounge. So one of the perks of membership at the gallery besides the uh, discounted entry to our exhibits is that you are able to access our members lounge for free. Now in the members lounge we have not only complimentary tea coffee and biscuits and of course a selection of fresh fruit at all times. We also keep a back catalogue of the publications associated with the exhibits that we hold at our galleries so you can come in to learn more about the art that you're seeing in the gallery or indeed you can just come in and have a nice um, relaxing afternoon. In fact many of our members do use our uh, members lounge in that manner. If you find yourself in this part of the city then why not come and come into the lovely warm uh, beautiful environment of our members lounge and sit back put your feet up read a newspaper and watch the world go by. As you can see we have a wonderful view out the window of our um, beautiful river and our beautiful city so I like to think we actually have the best spot in the whole city. Now of course we are much more than just a members lounge and complimentary tea coffee and biscuits which is why I've laid out all of our materials here for you today. This is a taster of what you could expect to receive when you become a member. We like to keep you updated of everything that's going on in our gallery. So to that end I think the most logical place for me to start is to show you this calendar that we prepare for our members every month and we send to you in the post. So what it is as you may be able to see is it is actually a sheet of stickers. So we uh, have something on every single day in this particular month. This is the month of June and um, you can see we have our exhibit on the 5th and then we have a members shopping weekend here over two days. We have our lunch and lecture series. This one is on the photograph and Australia. We have regular movies that we show in our gallery. We also have a book club that meets every uh, third or fourth Thursday. Uh, this would be one, two, three, four. So every fourth Thursday and there's also one on a Monday for those who can't attend the Thursday events. We also have our acclaimed Goma Talks series which is our Gallery of Modern Art Talks series. We have orientation, orientation rather, tours of our art library. Of course more movies and one of the more fun things that we run on a regular basis is of course the wine tasting masterclasses. So that's just a selection of the things that we can offer you throughout the month. And of course there is also the regular new members orientation tour which I would highly encourage you to take advantage of if you do become a member. Now these are in fact stickers so they have a particularly useful function which is that when you receive yours in the post you can have a look at each of these, refer from the name to your Artlines book here 
which goes into further detail about each of those particular events and any of these which take your fancy you simply peel off the sticker and you put it into your calendar so for example if you are interested in the David Lynch event which many people are you simply peel off the sticker and let's just say this was your calendar here you would simply stick it on the relevant day So that is our members calendar, which you will get every month. And uh, we hope that you would make a lot of use of that if you do decide to join the gallery. Some of the other ways that we keep you informed of what's going on are specific brochures for the um, different functions that we have here at the gallery. So. As you may or may not know, we are called QA Goma, which you see here, or Quagoma, which stands for Queensland Art Gallery and also Gallery of Modern Art. We are two galleries, two uh, very uh, distinct galleries with a different offering. The Gallery of Modern Art is, of course, the more contemporary um, a facility and is also much much newer than the Queensland Art Gallery which is the gallery that showcases the more um, classic continuing and also local artwork. Um, both are beautifully um, beautifully constructed buildings and house a great many artworks and multimedia exhibits and installations and sculptures and whatnot and they are connected by a very, very short walk in the same precinct. So, we have a cinema program, which you can take advantage of at mostly Goma, because they have a really beautiful cinema at the Gallery of Modern Art. So to see everything in the cinema at a glance, you need only open this brochure here. Now we pride ourselves on the design of these brochures and uh, I think they're extremely beautiful myself. Um, I don't actually know the designer personally because uh, that is a different department but I would like to go into the marketing and design department someday soon and congratulate them on their beautiful work. I love that this brochure opens out into a further little fold here that you see. So as it says in the brochure, the Gallery of Modern Art is the only Australian art gallery with purpose-built facilities dedicated to film and the moving image. So our Cinematheque presents retrospective and thematic film programs and exhibitions. So you can read about each of the films in this brochure and then you can also flip it over and you will have a detailed calendar of the films that are coming. So any that you may be interested in, you get the exact time. So that is just one of our brochures for the specific parts of the gallery and specific facilities that we have to offer you. Now one of the most important things I have to show you here is of course the Art Lines, our monthly magazine. So let me just clear all of these things away so that we can have a proper look. Art 
Artlines is of course our flagship publication and we go to quite a lot of effort to put this together every month for our members and you could of course expect to receive one of these every month if you did decide to join our gallery. We always have an editorial, of course, by our director. You may or may not know we have been making some international waves recently with our David Lynch exhibit. Um, he is, of course, a very popular filmmaker and he has been uh, holding an exhibit at our Gallery of Modern Art for the last few months. We have had many thousands of visitors through our galleries to see this particular exhibit, um, understandably of course, as he is such a popular and well-known artist and filmmaker. Now of course he is just about done, so we have a little retrospective on this page, just uh, explaining that he is now going to be leaving our gallery and we certainly are sad to see him go as we are with all of our exhibitors and artists. We also keep our members up to date of everything else that is finishing up so we have the final weeks here of a couple of different uh, exhibits and attractions that we have going on at the moment. Something you may not be aware is that we are also a function venue, so we are not just a space for artists to showcase their work and for art lovers to meet, but in fact because of our wonderful, wonderful position on the river, we actually have these function rooms which are ideal for your event, particularly for your wedding. I see that you are not wearing a wedding ring, so perhaps this is something you would like to uh, investigate in the future. We have an exhibit coming up for a local uh, Queensland artist um, whose name is Robert McPherson who is the artist behind this wonderful series here and many other uh, artworks which have gone on to become very well respected in Australia and you can see here he has even worked with some young people around art making And that's a little more of his work with young people. And we also like to think of our friends outside of the city when we put on our artworks. So we have things like our regional program here. So you can see we held a David Lynch masterclass where we were able to reach out and share this particular exhibition with people who are not in the metro area. We also are very proud at the moment to welcome the um, beginning of an exhibit by Diane Moon. This one is called Island Currents, Art from Bentic Island and the Torres Strait. You can see here the vivid nature of Diane's work and these large uh, traditional paintings which make up the chief uh, style of her work. Really very, very wonderful work that I absolutely recommend you go and see. And there is of course uh, many more um, examples of her artwork in this exhibit. Now, are you able to see properly there or shall I just let you get a better look? Of 
course we do like to showcase particular artists as they come and this one in particular is Robert McPherson who is doing an exhibit called The Painter's Reach. Now this one is coming in uh, the end of next month so this is something that um, you can look forward to as we are able to tell you about it well in advance of course. And we have uh, some detailed history of this particular artist's work and some examples. Again, we have a similar uh, special here on Daniel Cooks, whose um, exhibition Life in Motion is a solo exhibition. He is chiefly a photographic artist and you can see here he does these sorts of digital manipulations of uh, pictures using um, some very technical and I believe mathematical principles to make these sort of digital slices from one or a small series of images. Of course, we are committed to local artwork and to furthering the um, awareness of the history of local artwork. So this next month, we are pleased to present the Photograph and Australia, which is an exhibit of the photographic history of Australia. One of the things that not many people know is that Australia has a very long history of photographic and film tradition and was in fact one of the first countries in the world to take up the practice of film and moving film and in fact some of the first movies ever made were made in Australia. I believe they were chiefly single shot wide shots of Aboriginal people doing traditional dances. We also do collaborations and um, grants for students to go overseas and report back on the, their artistic collaborations. And of course roundups of events that we have here. This is another piece by a a local artist, I believe she's a local artist, or she may be from um, somewhere just outside of Australia. I believe she's from the Pacific Islands, this artist. And she does these wonderful big, big long canvases. Continuing the uh, theme of local artists, we also have Mrs. Gabori's work here. Again, very large canvases and very detailed storytelling from long, long traditions of artwork. And uh, I think you'll find there's really uh, so much to learn from these artists who have been around for so long and are able to tell the stories of the culture of their people, particularly uh, in Australia, we have such a rich and varied uh, mixture of cultures and none so old as that of our indigenous peoples. And it's very important for us to share uh, here at the gallery, to share those stories and that artwork when we can. This is some more work by our featured artist, Robert McPherson. So we like to give a good um, taster of the kind of pictures that you can expect to see when you come into the gallery. And of course, having seen some of these, perhaps it will uh, whet your appetite to come and see them in person. I know it's always quite a mystical and mystifying thing for me 
when I get to see an artwork close up and see things like the intricate brush strokes that make up a picture and the you know, uh, texture of the paper and sometimes, if you're lucky, even something like the artist's fingerprints. We're having a very local focus at the moment, so this is another local artist um, who works mainly in textiles. This is one of my favourite pieces. This is the uh, Indochina 2014 piece, which is a beautiful, colourful piece, which I think is somewhat after the work of um, Gustav Klimt. It reminds me very much of that extremely famous painting called The Kiss, uh, but of course it's quite a different subject matter. But uh, this is a very large picture that we have in our gallery that is uh, just absolutely stunning if you get to see it close up. Of course we have a section here specifically addressed to our members and we hope that you would read that as well if you do decide to become a member. Now, as I mentioned in regards to the calendar, we also have a book club um, which meets several times a month so you can see the books that we are looking at at the moment. We have a selection of wonderful Australian writers and I believe uh, this month we have all women. Oh no, we have one man here. So we have Ellen Van Nierven, uh, who is, I believe, a Queensland writer. Uh, her book, Heat and Light. And then we have a profile of one of Australia's most famous writers, a woman called Thea Astley, and this one is written also by one of our local women writers, Karen Lamb. And then we have a wonderful local book by a gentleman called Kari Gislason, and his book, The Ask Burner, uh, sorry, The Ash Burner. It looks like Ask because of the fold in the paper of the cover, which is quite clever, I think. And then we generally dedicate the final pages of our magazine to um, small profiles on the many other events that we have going on in the gallery. So of course I mentioned the wine tasting masterclass. We have our international art tour that we run on a regular basis where we look at a particular part of the world and the history of art there. We also have uh, food and uh, craft beer pairing events. We have um, director's introductions with degustation. You can see a lot of our events do uh, revolve around food and wine. We also have the uh, special exhibition viewing of the photograph and Australia. And we have interesting things like the Japanese paper cutting uh, workshop. So you can see we do lots of things at this gallery. And of course we have our featured, of course we have our featured films. And one of the most important things probably for you is the discounts, events, and benefit overview page which tells you about everything that you can get uh, by being a member that particular month. So in the case of this one you have discounted tickets for four different events. You also have discounts at our shop, 
discounts at gallery related venues such as the cafe, bistro and restaurant. We have discounted memberships for if you want to buy a membership for someone else. That's something I certainly enjoy doing is gifting memberships to people. We have reciprocal member discounts and benefits. There is, of course, as you would expect, priority ticket sales and entry to the popular exhibits. There are opportunities to view selected exhibitions before they open. We have, of course, the free gallery publications, which will be sent to you, such as this one we're looking at right now, Art Lines. There's, of course, the annual calendar, which you will get sent when you join up. And, of course, you get sent a new one every year when you renew your membership. There's also, of course, access to the Members' Lounge, as I said. We have a research library, so if you happen to be studying, or someone you know is studying and you want to help them out, or even if you're just an avid uh, devourer of knowledge, the research library will be very beneficial to you. We have our e-newsletter, should you choose to stay informed uh, electronically, if that is the more practical option for you. We also have special events and programs just for members, um, which are detailed on the pages indicated here. You also receive a free tote bag when you become a member. We find this um, is very popular among our members because it allows them to take their Artlines magazine and any other gallery publications that they may be interested in uh, with them as they travel around the galleries. Of course, um, backpacks are uh, obliged to be checked at the coat check when you come into the gallery, so it can be very smart to bring your tote bag with you so that you can take around the gallery anything uh, essential that you might need, such as your gallery program. And of course we have our detailed calendar and general reminders in the back. So that is the magazine, the gallery magazine. And of course, the calendar. And the final thing that I have not yet shown you, which is the general gallery guide. So rather than being just for one month, this is for the entire season of winter 2015. So this is a good way to get an overview of the whole season. So this is quite simply an overview of everything that we just looked at in the magazine, but it uh, focuses on the larger exhibitions in the gallery. So our photographic exhibitions and our paintings and the main events. Having looked at all of these things, I certainly don't expect you to have made a decision. Oh, you have. Oh, you would like to join the gallery. Oh, I'm so pleased that you decided. Uh, we are very um, proud of our galleries here, and uh, I do think that you are very much going to enjoy everything that we have to offer. The process from here is really very simple. Uh, I already have all of your details from the emails that we exchanged and the forms that you filled out for me today before uh, you entered the gallery. So I will just process those into our membership system and we will send you an invoice for the cost. I am very pleased to offer you a 10% discount on the membership today.
um, because you were so kind as to come in and meet with me and uh, then it is just a simple matter of sending you your card in the mail and we will also of course send you your wonderful tote bag your um, calendar stickers your artlines magazine and your gallery brochures thank you so much for coming to see me today and for considering our membership at the gallery we think that you will enjoy it very much and I certainly look forward to seeing you around our premises now that you are going to be a fully fledged member and I certainly look forward to sharing a cup of tea with you in our members lounge should I be fortunate enough to run into you in the future. It was so lovely to meet you. Have a wonderful day.